Okay, so hi guys, welcome to this session for Physics 71. The topic for this discussion is on applications of Newton's laws focusing on the statics of particles, meaning we will be considering objects that are at that are in equilibrium. So uh, for the last two sessions, we discussed Newton's um, three laws of motion. Again, we have the first law of, or the law of inertia, the second law, or the law of acceleration. That is, um, in the first law, we discussed what will happen if there are no, there's no net external forces acting on a particle. Uh, and we, we said that, okay, the particle will just um, start, uh, uh, will just uh, stay at rest or be in, in motion, but that motion is constant velocity in a straight line. Okay, so yon. So that's the idea of Newton's first law. For Newton's second law, we have obtained uh, an idea that uh, the net external forces acting, net sum of all external forces acting on a particle gives rise to an acceleration um, in a certain direction. And uh, the larger the mass of the object or the larger uh, the inertia of an object, the smaller for a constant mass, the smaller the acceleration will be. So the, the proportionality constant between net Fx and uh, A is the mass. And then third, uh, we discuss the third Newton's third law, which is basically your uh, your uh, what, how do forces act between two objects? So remember, forces are interactions. We have F equals um, F A B, which is just equal to negative F B A. That is the force exerted by one body onto the other, which is the action force. It's just the negative of the force exerted by that other body towards the first body, which is the reaction force. They will act in um, they will act with the same magnitude, but will will act in opposite directions. Okay, malino bayon. So that's basically what we've learned so far. Now, for this session and for the next two sessions, we will be applying all those principles in solving problems in dynamics. That is, for a given particle, how can we, uh, how can we um, determine the forces acting on that particle and what is the resulting maybe acceleration or what are the resulting quantities that we can determine from these forces? Okay, so... Um, so the outline of this discussion is again basically na recall na eh. Recall of Newton's cause and free body diagram. I'll show you again some of the slides we've um, we've uh, shown in the past few uh, lectures, and then we solve problems in Newton's laws and. Uh, uh, these two are actually connected. Uh, the second one is just a problem-solving guide for you to understand how to solve problems in this topic. Uh, it's a general case and for the more specific case of statics. And then third, we proceed to some examples because since the application to poor examples tayo ngayon. Okay. Now, so the objective is just to apply Newton's laws and to obtain conclusions about the contact and non-contact forces acting on a body in equilibrium. So what can we obtain? What physical quantities such as tension or uh, frictional force? Wala pa tayong friction. Uh, usually tension ang lumalabas sa ganito mga topic. Eh. Tension o kaya um, uh, maybe normal force. Yun yung mga lumalabas usually na, na, na tinatanong dito. Okay? So again, for a body in equilibrium, that force is just zero. 